A nearly week long search is over for a missing paddle border on Lake Michigan. The body of 49 year old Teresa Stiff was found this morning by a fisherman off the Port Washington shoreline. Well, the sheriff's office says that the Muskego woman likely died from accidental drowning. Well, new tonight at 10, Julia Fellow talked to a local search and rescue crew and an organization dedicated to preventing tragedies like this from happening. The 49 year old woman was last seen alive here at Harrington Beach last week. Authorities say that she died of an accidental drowning. One man has made it his life's work after he nearly drowned in Lake Michigan to bring awareness to the dangers of our Great Lakes. The Ozaki County Sheriff's Office says the 49 year old woman told families she was going to paddleboard off Harrington Beach State Park Wednesday afternoon and was never heard from again. The woman's paddleboard was spotted on the shore the next day and her life jacket on Friday. Dave Benjamin of the Great Lakes Surf Rescue Project says this marks the 51st Great Lakes drowning of the year, the 21st for Lake Michigan alone. Unfortunately, it's, it's another life taken by the Great Lakes. And understanding 18 year old Logan Stork has. This was the St. Louis natives first time out on Lake Michigan. Like the waves, you might underestimate them. Um, I always take a whistle with me when I'm going out just in case something happens. Benjamin hopes there's more education put on paddle boards and kayaks for sale. And people look at it, there's like, hey, this is my fun way to get on the lake, not like this could kill me. He nearly drowned while surfing in Lake Michigan back in 2010. And I had an instant panic attack because I choked on some water. I survived that incident by floating. One of the ways he hopes people survive a drowning is by making sure people have a leash around their waist or leg, attached to their board, and have a float plan. You know, let people know when and where they're going to go and when and where they plan to return. And wear a life jacket at all times, no matter how good of a swimmer you are. And we saw a family member come out here tonight to pay his respects to the drowning victim. He and his family obviously were not ready to talk yet. Reporting at Harrington Beach State Park, Julia Fellow, TMJ4 News.